Hey y'all, it's Chassie and I'm back with a super simple keto friendly dinner. I miss sloppy joes like nobody's business. So before we would serve them open style on some bread, I would coat mine in mustard and pickle relish and it would just be divine. So today I'm going to show you how to make a keto friendly sloppy joe sauce that you're going to love. I just know it. Also, if I had a dollar for every time I rolled my eyes with excitement, I would have so many dollars. <laughs> so you guys stay tuned and I'll show you just how quick and easy it is. But hey, while you're waiting, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell so you'll be the first one to know when I make new content. Also, like our video. If you like it, if you don't like it, well you don't have to give us a thumbs down because that's just not very nice. But anyway, we'll see you real soon. Stay tuned. All right guys, so this is a super simple sloppy joe mix. Way better than the canned stuff and it takes stuff that you probably already have. So we are going to add seven tablespoons of tomato paste. Now it is a little carbier, but I will let you know you don't get the flavor from just your regular ketchup. So we're gonna use seven tablespoons. Keep in mind though, this is gonna serve eight people um or three of us at home until we run out so seven tablespoons tomato paste we're gonna use one tablespoon of your minced onion which is your dry onion flakes then you're gonna have two tablespoons of vinegar i'm gonna use white vinegar because that's just my preference and I like the tang that it gives. And I also love the smell. Am I the only one that loves the smell of vinegar? Comment down below and let me know that I'm not the only crazy person out there. So like I said, two tablespoons of vinegar. We're gonna do one tablespoon of Worcestershire side. Mm -hmm. This Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce. Whew. every time I think it too much and I'm not able to say it. So we're gonna do one tablespoon of this. I'm gonna do a heavy tablespoon just because I love it. And then we're gonna do a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. I'm not a fan of Dijon, but in this and a few of, of my recipes, y'all, I cannot talk today. If you'll notice there's silence, both of my babies are napping and so I'm not fussing at a child so I don't know what to do now <laughs> so about a teaspoon of Dijon and because I like my sloppy joes to be really tangy I'm gonna use some yellow mustard as well about a teaspoon give or take okay so what you're gonna do is you're gonna mix this up really well And guess who's eating this over a chaffle? Me. <laughs> All right, guys. So, like I said, just mix that up. Pour it over one pound of browned ground beef. And you will have yourself the tastiest sloppy joes that you've ever had on keto. <laughs> her chaffles. So we've got one egg to that. I'm going to put a little salt and pepper. We're going to also add a little garlic powder and a little onion powder. I mean, just a touch of salt. And we're going to whisk it up really well. I'm going to make these a little extra cheesy. So I'm going to use probably 50 to 60 grams of cheese and we will go from there. Like I said, this is for the sloppy joes. So we're going to want it to be just, you know, robust and full of flavor. Robust because I'm a chef. Good Lord. Thank y'all for being here. 
So anyway, we're gonna mix this up and I'm gonna show you guys how we travel. <laughs> eating it over a truffle. You guys let me know what you're going to eat it over. We'll see you real soon. Bye y'all.